What's up guys? Welcome to Performance Cars. So today I'm at Snetterton and it's pretty wet. It was raining quite hard earlier on. It has stopped now, but the forecast says that it's going to rain even harder in the afternoon. But it is very busy today. I've had my briefing already. I've done my sighting laps and there are loads of really loud Civic Type Rs, NSX, Super Cars, all sorts of cars. Ben from Want to Race is also down here with Michael who is doing a full day's testing in his Vinetta G40. I myself am in the yellow S2000 over there. The GT86 is just coming out and I'll be joining them in a second. But I'll be taking you through the paddock and showing you guys that awesome NSX with a carbon body. There's an Integra of a K24, etc, etc. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. First, let me take you around my S2000. My number plate has fallen off, so that's why there's sticky tape on the bumper. But most of you guys would know my setup, a EMV2 induction, um, a larger radiator, tyres, I am running 808R tyres today because it is wet. And the discs, they are slotted, Carbon Lorraine RC6 pads at the front. And if we go to the rear, we have RC5 Plus at the rear. I have installed my tow hook today. Uh, usually I don't because, well, just in case I go off the track. But that's more or less it. I have my GoPro installed as well, so I can get some footage for you guys, my helmet and those noticeable yellow gloves. I have noticed loads of turbo and supercharged cars today, but that's another SC1000, he does a lot of drifting, but today he changed his setup to go on track, but here's that NSX with the carbon body. So he's already been out on track, and you can see that he has carbon fiber front wings, a carbon fiber bonnet, uh, the front bumper remains the same. Go down the sides. We have carbon fiber rear quarters as well with carbon fiber air intake. This is awesome. Looks like he has upgraded the calipers as well. Let's take a look at the front. It's gone for Alcon at the front. So this is a serious setup car. Carbon fiber spoiler, rear bumper. Jesus, he's gone all out here. And here's the best bit, he's running a supercharger in there. So I think this is a 3.2 litre. I'll ask the owner later and confirm this, but this is an awesome car. It is left hand drive, I've just noticed that. But hopefully we can get some footage of this car going round.
So what an interesting first morning session that was. Uh, lunch is already over. Everyone's already on in the afternoon session and it's really windy. It's really dull as well. So I'm kind of looking forward to going out again. But a summary of this morning, well, it was very slippery to say the least. It took me about three laps or maybe even four laps. And this is a three mile circuit to even get some temperature into the tires. And once the temperatures were up, well, I think my pressures were a bit too high. So I came in, dropped them back down to 28 PSI and it felt much better. The S2000, well, my one has no traction control. It's the early model and there's no ABS as well because I disabled that. And yeah, it made things very tricky. I also had a really good um, track battle with two EP3s. So I'll be showing that for you guys. But talking about EP3s, there was one that crashed out on the first corner, I think it was. So that was quite bad. Um, he literally just put tape over his lights and he's still going back out. So well done to him. And what else? Oh yes, there are, I think it's called Arinera. There was two of them, two green ones. Um, I can't pronounce the second one, but they were GT cars. They looked ridiculously cool. And we got some footage of that. They were doing a promo with it or something, but those cars were really fast, even in the wet. That NSX supercharged one as well, that was really fast. Uh, the wine on one of the EP3s, that was just crazy. But I'm gonna head out again into the afternoon session. It's already started to rain, so we shall see how the afternoon goes.
So that's the end of the day, guys. It's not even five o'clock yet, but the rules state that they have to close the track 20 minutes before sunset, and it's more or less sunset now. So that's for the insurance purposes. It's a bit sad, but what can we do? S2000 ran perfectly today. I had a great battle with a BMW M3. He's one of my friends. Um, trying to show him the wet line as well. And once he got it, he was rapid. Michael as well, and Ben in the one to race Genetica car. That was awesome. I tried to follow them around. Got held up in traffic, unfortunately, but that was really good fun. I did learn a lot from Ben as well. So today at Snetterton, my first time here, I really enjoyed it. I love this circuit, it's amazing. It's a shame that it was wet, but hopefully I'll be back here soon again for more practice. I obviously have to go to a couple more other tracks to practice for my race next year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Take care, drive safely, and I'll see you guys soon. Hey guys, welcome to Performance Cars. So today I want to talk about my MacBook Pro 2016 model with the touch bar.